Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. As I've said a couple of times while uh, making these, putting these things together uh, eats into a bunch of time that I used to spend doing other things, which is why this daily schedule is absolutely insane if you have anything else that you want to do, uh, and if, you know, video isn't an integral part of your life to begin with. Um, but that gets into the uh, idea of we have choices to make in our lives. We can choose to consume or we can choose to create. And that's a choice we have to make on a semi-regular basis because uh, there's an awful lot to consume out there. Uh, and by consume, I, I mean that in a variety of ways. Um, but that falls into, that, that's where learning falls into. So you can consume that knowledge and make it part of you. You can also uh, kind of be consumed by ruminations and spending a lot of time in your own head, uh, chewing through different thoughts and different memories and different experiences. Uh, that's a kind of consumption as well uh, until you do something with it. So a lot of people get trapped in that kind of stagnant pool of self-reflection, uh, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Uh, it can be very useful, but it can also get out of hand really quickly. And that's the same with any sort of consuming that we do. We can very quickly go from being a conscious consumer to being an addict. We can become addicted to the stuff that we consume. We panic when it's not at our fingertips. Uh, this is a distinct thing that we see these days uh, when social media and uh, our fancy phones and everything are never more than arm's reach away uh, when we realize we've left the phone at home or when our battery dies in the middle of the day uh, and we're running around and don't have a place to charge it. People start to get a little twitchy. They can't check their Twitter, they can't check their Facebook, they can't uh, send out their Instagrams. Uh, and that's a lot of consumption that goes on. And it's also a method for creation. So that's something we can't forget. But mostly we consume. And that's something that we have to remain aware of. We have to remain aware of how much we take in how we take it in, and how consciously we choose what we take in. I watch a whole lot of TV, uh, and I've had issues in the past where if I miss a show, and this was long before DVRs and everything like that, I would get physically panicked uh, because I was going to miss that show. And it was really not pleasant at all. Uh, and it's something that I've worked over the years to get away from, to be able to just let that stuff go. Yes, I missed that episode. I'll find some other way to catch it before next week's. Or worst case scenario, I'll watch next week's without watching it first. And when, we, when we're aware of our consumption, uh, be it our media consumption, or our food consumption, or our social interaction consumption, uh, or pretty much anything, the books we read, the movies we watch, the music we listen to, we can learn how it affects us, and we can better choose what to consume. This is especially true with, with eating, because we put a lot of crap into our bodies because it's right at our fingertips. Those candy bars, those uh, horribly processed microwave food bits uh, that are just quick fixes to not even necessarily hunger, but the need to do something that kind of puts nutrients into our body, but not necessarily in the best way. Consuming stuff and, and being aware of it is one of the best choices you can make in life is to consciously consume because that gives you control that gives you perspective 
Now, creation is another thing altogether, and that takes a lot of time and energy. But it makes use of what we consume. What we create is influenced by what we consume, which is another reason to be very conscious, conscious of what you consume. Because that determines, in part, the quality of what you create. So if you want to create great stuff, you have to consume great stuff. It's that whole garbage in, garbage out idea. Uh, so if you're creating, you're, you're actively transforming what you've consumed, and in some cases, what's been consuming you, uh, if we're talking about sitting in your own head for a while, and you're transforming it into something new, something different, something to put out there for other people to consume. And that's kind of the magic of the whole thing, the whole cycle, the whole process, is that what we consume, we turn into creations that other people consume and turn into creations. This is one of the ways that we're all connected and that we continue to build those connections. And I think it's really kind of neat. So tell me down in the comments, what do you consume? How aware are you of what you consume? And what do you create with it? If you like what I have to say uh, in these videos, uh, give me a thumbs up right there. If you're subscribed, thank you very much for being subscribed. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button and you'll get notified of these as they come out. And if you know anyone else who uh, has anything to say on this topic or any of the other ones that I've been talking about, um, definitely share this with them so that uh, they can get in on the conversation and we can consume and create together. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.